So the first two frames, Yvonne Walker gets the $100 really on the, the mistakes by Don Lane bowling just a 10. Let's see if she can turn this around. Better shot on the middle at least, but uh, ends up with a head pin split after her first ball. Gonna have to try to cover off the two sides now. She leads off in the third, wanting to establish as many pins as possible for Yvonne Walker to face. That's the one. Do you have to throw a heavy ball? Do you have to throw the power of a ball, or can you get the job done, let's call it, with a quieter ball? Yes, you can. And it's uh, the kind of shot that depends on the placement of that shot. You have to be accurate with it. You want to get it in with a pocket consistently because a lot of times on a little slower ball, it is not going to get the big crunch shot that you see some of the power players do. So they do have a little advantage there in that on a full hit, they can sometimes blast those pins mm -hmm. out of there. Now there's a bigger ball, right? A, yep. a more powerful ball results in the strike and another frame for Yvonne Walker. This one, though, she's placed perfectly. Goes right into the right-hand pocket, and there's no question about these pins falling down. She picks up her third frame now. And off to an early lead. Look out. Good pin coming back and making its appearance again. Going to have to try to cover off the two sides. And this is where you don't want to get rushing up to the lane too fast. Get out there. Check your spot out. Run through your mind what has to happen here. Cover off the right side and then repeat the same once more. And that will force your opponent into making a mark. Nice job to get the left side as well and count 15. But neither bowler right now has developed any kind of consistency. We thought, my goodness, when they both opened with strikes, but look at what Walker has done since. And then, of course, a couple of opens in two and three from Don Lean. And Don struggling to find her mark on this particular lane. That's both times she's missed to the left side in her two uh, attempts on it on her first ball. She still can win the frame here if she can spare. And she won't now. She needs that just to force the carryover. And so often you try to make a little adjustment because you know you've missed twice to the left with your first shot. You come back with the next shot and you adjust a little bit to the right and it's too far right. The adjustments are made with your feet or just in your placement or by where you're, you're in. Oh, can you just throwing it down. Can be done in several ways. ways. There's the 15 to carry the frame. You can move your position on the, on the approach and keep your spot on the lane in the same spot. You could pick up your speed a little bit or slow it down. Or you could keep your position on the lane the same and move your spot that you're looking at on the lane. But she just can't find that head pin right now. She needs to do a little adjusting somewhere. This one just pulled across to the left side. Looks okay at the finish, but she thought it was going to maybe hang up a little farther. Might need to pick up her speed a little bit. That's a better shot. Spare for Don Lane here in five, playing for $100. Don still looking for her first money. She's down by three frames to Yvonne Walker from Vernon, B.C. And there it is, another strike. That's her third in a row on that particular lane. Uh, it's been the, in the other lane, it's been her problem, isn't it? So she picks up the two frames and the $200, and Yvonne Walker now is in position to, to go over the top. And now for Don Lane, she must win everything else and bring her pin count up, and she'll be forced to do it right away. Yvonne's 
parents, Irene, Malcolm, we welcome both of them from Vernon, B.C. See if she can find that spot. Find that line she needs no. and it's not going to happen. Yvonne Walker is going to move on. And she does it quite handily as she picks up the frame, the $50, and advances in six straight frames as she's right now shut out Don Lane. Her sister, Andrea, we've seen her before. She was on the pins game a year ago, won $500. Interestingly enough, in those provincial playdowns, she had to beat her sister to get here. So as you were saying, tennis has uh, tennis has the Williams sisters, Venus and Serena. Bowling has the lanes, the bowling lanes. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Very good. So right corner and the cover for the spare. And now Yvonne with another chance if she can match up one more strike on this lane. Be her fourth strike in a row on this particular lane and she would pick up another frame. Yvonne who works at the Lincoln Lanes in Vernon. Now it's good for her, she's got it going now. She's got some consistency going on both lanes. And she's, she's been on the middle every frame. So seven attempts, she's hit the middle seven times. Looked a little suspect on the right corner back in the second when she missed it twice. And then in the head pin, she covered off the 15 points. She needed to do that to keep moving. And then comes back with some strikes and breaks it off with a punch as she leads off an eight. So try to pick up the uh, two sides here. Get the 15 points again. And when you turn around to go and sit down, if you can say to yourself, hey, I'm around the head pin every every first ball. Is it is that provide some satisfaction? Oh yeah, you, you know good things are going to eventually come out of that. You can't drill that thing through, you know, ten times in a row. You may have some misfortune and punch it a few times, but at least if you're getting it on the middle, you're giving the strike ball an opportunity to work. You're giving yourself a chance to make spares, perhaps by shooting just at single pin spares with corners. Head pin is the big telling factor, of course. If you punch that out too many times, you're in trouble. But you have to hit the middle to get a strike. Just the eight count. And so she sits at 189. And that'll give Don Lane her first frame and her first money. She wins $50. Okay, that was a better thrown ball. She got that one into the pocket. Let's see if she can repeat it once more. Looked a little bit more consistent on that one. It's back there again. Yeah, yeah, just all too late now for Don Lane, though. Stretches up through it into the right-hand side and gets a good pin spread. Strike the result for her second in a row. That's what Yvonne faces now. Sticks a little bit and punches once more for another frame for Don Lane. So back to back frames and now $100 for Don. For Yvonne now, that's back to back head pins. The adjustment, how fine an adjustment is that for her? I mean, she just has to move it over one side of the pin or the other, but how fine is that? It's very fine because it gets into an area of you may not be changing the particular spot you're looking at to roll it over the lane, but now you're changing your speed a little bit getting to the approach. Huh. Maybe you got a little quick and the ball isn't having time to react and cross over to the left, or maybe you got a little slow and it's moving too far. So it's a very, very fine margin trying to correct off a head pin. Nice job by Yvonne to cover off the 15 here in nine. One frame, one fifty dollars still to be won. But Yvonne Walker from Vernon knows she'll move on. She'll play Joanne 
Nadeau in the quarterfinal. Uh, you know, first time. First miss, yep. And she's going to be getting herself ready now to play against Joanne in this next match. So, score-wise, she suffered a little bit with the head pins in 8 and 9. And, of course, the 1 and 4. But she was on three strikes in a row. That would have got her pinfall up a little higher and everything else. Now the spare. And an opportunity to throw one more shot. Get a 30 count here on the board. And that's what Don Lane will be faced to better. So, this is better. Comes in. Hits high, gets the kick on the right corner for the spare. And the string, no. 28. So well, she'll leave the, the lane feeling, I would think, reasonably satisfied. Could finish in 10. Hold a solid game. One miscue. Now she'll need that spare to stay alive for the, the frame. Got to throw a good ball here and then throw an excellent ball behind it. Try to outcount that 28 points that Yvonne has. Makes the spare. That's good. Now she needs the, needs the strike. She'll get it. Nice finish for Don Lane as she picks up the final frame and the final 100 and for her $150. But Yvonne Walker took advantage of some early mistakes by Don. And so Yvonne Walker holds at 232, wins $350, and she is through to the quarterfinals, and she will play Joanne Nadeau when we come back.